video P6, how to change percentages into fractions. The first part of this is pretty simple, but it gets a little bit more challenging towards the end where we have percentages that have a decimal element as well. So 17%, okay, whenever you see percent, take your number and put it over 100. And then try and simplify. Now this one you can't simplify at all because there isn't a number that divides into 17 and divides into 100 and changes that fraction to make it simpler. So this would be our final answer. If we have 24%, take our percentage, put it over 100 and then see if we can simplify. Now both of these are in the 2 times table, so I can divide by 2 to give me 12 over 50. Remember whatever you do to the bottom, you also do to the top. And then I can divide by 2 again to give me 6 25ths, and that will be the simplest form of fraction that is equivalent to 24%. 64%, okay, let's try that again. The percentage goes at the top as the numerator. Our denominator is 100 because percent means out of 100. Then we simplify. Divide by 2, we get 32 out of 50. And we can divide by 2 again to give us 16 25ths. We can't divide the top and the bottom by another number. That's as simple as it goes. So 64% is equivalent to 16 25ths. 35%, okay. 35 is our numerator. 100 is our denominator because a percent means out of 100. And then if we divide by 5 this time, we will get 7 twentieths. Now the more challenging ones come where you have um, percentages like this where you have a decimal element. So the first thing we do, let's take our percentage, 12.5, and let's put it out of 100 because that's what percent means. Now this feels very strange because we're not used to having decimals within a fraction. It's a little bit wrong, it feels a little bit wrong, but we're going to adjust this fraction now to make it a little bit more realistic. So to get rid of the decimal element, we're going to times the top and the bottom by 10, and that will give us 125 over 1000. Remember that number, I'm going to take it onto the next page, let's just get rid of that. 125 over 1000. Okay, to simplify, you can do it in little stages. If we divide by um, 5 first of all, or maybe 25 actually, we could divide by 25, and that would give us 5 over 40. And then if we divide by 5 again, we would get 1 8. Let's try one more. Let's try 22.5%. May need a couple of pages on this one again. So first of all, put your 22.5 over 100, because that's what percent means. Then times the top and the bottom by 10. And you will get 225 over 1000. From there, we can divide by 5, top and bottom, and we will get 45 on the top, and we will get 200 on the bottom. Okay, keep watching, 45 over 200. And then from there, we can divide by 5 again, and that will give us 9 over 40, which is our simplest form. So at the end of the day, the key to remember is make it out of 100 and then simplify it to its simplest form. Just watch out for those tricky ones with the decimals on the end.